were my philosophy or science answers. I am something equal number one, being, having existence. Its possibility equal own power. Therefore, I am three being someone. One, some number equal is own n rest to zero. Two, someone equal to his own existence. Three, something equal to his own power. So, in scientific synthesis, I am one, being someone, in the absolute truth of this one and the threefold power, n rise to zero equal to n rise to plus one multiplied by n rise to minus one. And it is true one because I am one having power present in the infinite possibilist unitary and binary system of n rise to plus one multiplied by n rise to minus one. In the fourth time in power of the space-time reality, which has in power three spaces and one time, the binary system of one and zero is completely divided into rest to four equal 16 single vertical orders. It contains everything. Therefore, my own power is 16 rise to minus one. In my electric to be, I am an electric wave whose inverse magnetism is its opposite advancing. So, I also must be well ordered in this possibilistic system as two strings of opposite orders being simultaneously these two evident waves. By consequence, when in the possibilistic system there are two inverse well-ordered waves, it is possible the presence of one being a wave of electromagnetic soul in its spirit and matter, antimatter in its body. These two waves, existing in binary way, are two rise to two equal to two plus two equal four and are the real body of every body existing in four dimensions. Is the electromagnetic and matter antimatter observation of we observers of the physics. It is so made by the wave of every subject that alternating the opposites in these 17 simultaneous dimensions of the single 16 times are acting with their binary alternating in the depth of the two moments 16 minus 2 equal 14 are in the space, two are in the time of the advancing in the depth. Moreover, since every unitary atomic mass is two rise to four equal 16 in its unit, this must be put in relation with the unitary presence of one decimeter squared of water, which contains 10 rise to 9 rise to 2 equal to 10 rise to 18 atomic units squared. They must to move in depth by 10 rise to 10 
equal to mass, equal to kilograms. So, becoming 10 raised to 18, multiply 10 raised to 10, and equal to 10 raised to 28 kilograms. In a way that uh, the atomic unit is uh, it's, uh, 10 raised to minus uh, 28 kilogram in its size. In fact, it is the 2 raised to 4 equal to 16 atomic weights of the water molecule minus the two unitary movements of the hydrogen. So, 16 multiplied 10 raised to minus 28 is the exact one unit of the atomic mass. You can consider this casual presence in the plane. There are nine units, and that one, evidenced in the center, has one presence and eight possible movements. So, in the cube, having three units as its side, there is one unit in the center, and 27, uh, 26, its movements that minus the 10 cycle are the movement of 16. The unit of the 3 riders to 3 in the work time of this cubic presence has 3 rides to 3 plus 1 equal 28 dimensions and they are in base 10 those of the atomic mass unit. Its unit equal in size to 10 rise to minus 28 is referred to the logarithm of 10 rise to 3 multiplied 10 rise to 3 multiplied 10 rise to 10 in kilograms. If you have understood that this real system having 2 rise to 4 units is 16 as 3 plus 3, the complex mass, plus 10 its cycle, this combination is the representation in the line of the water atomic weight 18 in the only oxygen 16, since two movements in vertical are the unitary complex movement of the hydrogen, if you have understood, you will have known that with 16 raised to 2 equal to 256 units, you will have four jumps of this presence in four times. This is uh, this jump, jumps. It is 2 raised to 4 raised to 2 and equal to 2 raised to 8. The one reality, 2 raised to 4 in 4 times. In its 4 times also in depth. It is time and space. When it is a volume, it is 16 raised to 3 equal to 4096 and, show, and it shows the 4 units, 10 raised to 3 of the mass unit in the 16 units of the reality multiplied 6 components 3 positive and 3 negative ones it is 4 times 
the two rise to ten, that is ten rise to three, the mass unit, plus twenty-four, that is it's twenty-four hours of movement. The subject having an alternating wave attributes the same is electromagnetism and matter antimatter essence also to the other files of cubic orders in which E is present one. It is an immense atomic body since 10 raised to 31 atomic mass units are 1 meter cube of existence. And since our body exists plus or minus in its 10th uh, part, so as 10 raised to 30 atomic units, well, every alternating action appearing to the subject as uh, some almost free action is observed as a life in itself. So the organs, the cells, the microbes, the virus, as the freedom of the water can be cut away in the molecules under zero degrees as the freedom of all the internal lives of one only living body can be fixed in the unitary bonds that fix every single and unitary organic life. This condition in its complex structure is depending on the existent orders proceeding in the same spiral way of the DNA and these because every unitary cycle contains always 16 units in the line and two in the vertical flow as the 16 plus 2 atomic weight of the water molecule. Being the main body of a circa 10 rise to 30 atomic units expanded in three lines, when the body of a living subject appears moving itself, all this volume of binary dates moves itself also in the plane of the line. In the same extraordinary cases it can seem to pass from the earth and to go on the moon, if there are enough speeds in the plane. In the absolute field in which everything exists, we have in it certainly also these coherent adventures of groups of dates having one body and seeming a movement. It is as we have in the translation of a script. In appearance it is moving in its shape because only its form moves itself, disappearing in a point and in the second time appearing in another point. The horizontal component reveals to have mass, the vertical one, time. The mass is energy having a movement's time. So, 
in the field of a general relativity, everything exists since it is general. So, 10 raised to 3 units of matter move 10 raised to 10 times the 10 raised to 3 of the antimatter mass and 10 raised to 16 is the result and is the exact C2. The unitary movement of 1 meter squared in 1 second rise to minus 2. Regarding the unitary electromagnetic section 3 rise to 2 electric in 3 and magnetic in 3 units. So, the 10 general cycle that is the cycle of every unit in physics is 9 in, er in energy in its standing as 10 raised to 17 meters squared and it is 1 second raised to minus 1 in its unitary mass while this second raised to minus 1 in its unitary acceleration we have the unitary energy only when the electromagnetic mass unit and not the light is so speed if E equal M if the energy that becomes its mass by moving if it is so it is E equal E C2 where E is uh, its unit since energy divided this E is equal to C2. It is only in this way and cannot be in a different way. When uh, in the general relativity the relation of uh, Einstein is used to count all the energy of the mass as that appearing in the squared of the C speed and not the C2 of the unit of the electromagnetism we have not all the mass we have not all the energy but only the energy that is translating in only one line where all the energy of a mass is it in its atomic explosion not only in two directions but in the six of the explosion The universe is the unit of the possibilist system and that in itself the single galaxies are the single units that exist so divided. The single star system in every galaxy are the single divisions contained in it. So, Starting the unitary division of the reality sided 2 rise to 4, its binary dividing brings to the possibility, the real possibility, of realities always more divided in itself, as worlds existing and contained in other words, Earth is a unitary one as the general unit containing all its internal divisions. Being a 
unitary words, it contains a rule. In a, a single full time of the binary division, every possibility exists also in this earth system. By consequence, the man goes on the moon. The genome of the life ordered by the genus is well known and everything appears become possible to a man that really appears today as uh, the Lord. It can appear like a freedom in itself of the man, but it is only the final presence of everything in this possibilist system arrived to its fullness which contains all the apparent possibilities. The binary orders ordering the rule compel the vision of the apparent freedom of the vivant bodies acting as uh, the virus in a computer. They seem to be free ones and to have autonomous lives, but on the contrary they are slaves of their programs of autonomy. Also, the human life is a slave of its uh, designed autonomy, which exists only by and afterward the same it's to be in. This so seems the absolute latching of freedom, and it is a truly so for every relative one presence. Also the religion says it. The people of God is said to be born as a slave in Egypt. Free one only in his transcendent God. This Lord ordered the Exodus and the, the final arrival in the earth promised by the omnipotence of Yahweh. Practically, afterward, the first life slave in Egypt, he obliged the second one as the latching of all the former life. And this desert finally killed everyone, killed every life, become free one. Only the death, in fact, is the exodus, the true exodus, that gets truly free ones, everyone. But only afterward, the same life lived in its full annihilation, in its return to it's simple be in power. Whatever to 
understand about uh, the gods to be in and uh, to count in this world? We can understand by inquiring. In the whole existence, which contains every possibility in its realization, could latch just that of the absolute power in itself? Where the life's existence is its perfect whole unit, could lack just this unit? If the whole goes from 1.1.1.0 to 0.1111 and in general is 1.1.1.1 being infinite one in the two opposed direction could latch just its unit as 1.1 if the almighty god is the true unit of all the possibilities expressed by numbers, could be latching just the unit of the ten-tenth as is really existent unitary wave? Since every essence depends on the almight of the infinite field made by ten divided nine, which is one-tenth forever, could be not just the ten-tenth equal to God? Can we name God such a 1.1 personal talent, representing the unitary justice between the two inverse fields of n raised to plus one and n raised to minus one? Therefore, could be Jesus the man having this talent? being he so virtually put in the middle of everything to not be confused if n units are referred to one man or the other case of one man referred to its n units is not virtually helped who perceives everything one to one and so does not give HIG evaluation to anything that could minimize the spirit's existence. In this world in which space 10 and the time 10th are e but appear in verse 1 as action and reaction, the only one truly being in the center is the only one which perceives the truth and certainly this man was Jesus he said that God serves the man who serves God so that the gods order, the God's love, is for helping everyone and not for damaging his true and spiritual freedom. Could be latching just this God's son at the end of the times in which everything is existent? Could be latching also the character of his good father, having ten as father and one as the Holy Spirit. And this, in the sequent one and threefold truth of ten raised to zero equal to ten multiplied ten raised to minus one where one is just the father ten of the son tenth? What are in itself the miracles made by Jesus? What they are in this 
omnipotent system. They are jumps from a condition to another without all its possible real passages, so that set fishes seem to become a lot of it. When the possibilist system is an omnipotent one, also these jumps exist. In it exists everything. Because one rise to one fish is equal to one rise to n fish, when a true one is acting in his power, and then the index 1 can be the index n of n fishes in the same power. Since we perceive in power the true one son of God acting in power can show one index to become as the n index conserving the one power of the power, of the power. on the contrary the father's character present in the real world does not make miracles he is the faithful god observing the power 10 of his power 10 based on 10 he is trinitary in his power as 10 rise to 10 rise to 10 that is equal to 10 rise to 100 times is inverse as his holy unitary spirit being 10 in line his power 1 is always 1 and so the father's miracles are only and excuse me if it is only are only the whole creation observed in all the real and the imaginary truth the only miracles that are congruous with the father's side 10 depend on the Holy Spirit one who is added to the 10 to form the binary 11 that is in the middle of 11.111 they are only the miracles of the to know about the absolute structure of the world as it exists in the unitary way of every measurement that is relative to its unit and this is in a way that every son of God a God equal 10 and existing as one is every number obtained by the 10 interaction of the 10 number with the same 10. This first action forming every number acts as the power 10 rise to 10 that lets it exist relatively to its opposition that exists as the 10th logarithm of 10 rise to n. So n of every number becomes son of the 10 base that works just as his father and is the father to exist so in every son. Existing in the son named Jesus Christ, 
the n power is exactly one and in his character he accepts to make miracles whose aim is to show the God's omnipotent power of a one that is infinite one. Every true father exists by the aim of posing his life in that of his son, if he is a good father. The transcendent father of the heaven is one alone, is a power in power, but that really present in the world exists in every real son accepted the heavy cross of his human limit. Only in this way the Absolute One accepts to be a real one who by a real construction gives real form to a poor and abstract idea. Only real sons of God can let God Father really exist, but everybody will become heir of God. But only afterward the virtual existence of the infinite and the unitary possibilist system of sons as slaves in this real design of the Father. Slaves will win. Everyone, everyone will win. They will win their own cross making of the suffering reality their supreme victory who more appears the fate in this real world more will be the winner and he is truly already now is without perceiving it because he is winning but he is perceiving this positive winning action by the reaction that is equal and contrary and seem to be a mortal defeat. <laughs>